They will burn inside of me. The Burn Pits of Iraq. From 2003 to 2009, 250 burn pits used for incinerary war waste raged day and night on U.S. military bases inside the Sunni Triangle. From Camp Taji to Camp Ballad, Bagram, and Camp Buka, 250 burn pits raged, disposing of war waste, filling the Iraqi air with smoke and ash. The burn pits instantly aggravated the eyes, throat, and lungs of soldiers in the vicinity of the burn pits. As the commanding officers assumed them, there were no adverse harmful effects to the exposure of the burn pits, soldiers breathed in their toxic fumes. What lay inside these pits? Inside them lay rotting burn corpses, human waste, medical waste, animal remains, jet fuel, pesticides, lithium, adhesive, styrofoam, all making up the 50 tons of trash burned each day. From Camp Victory to Basra, toxic smoke filled the air, creating a climate where Iraqi children became 17 times more likely to suffer cancer and birth defects than prior to the U.S. military presence. Iraqi doctors collected hair, nail, and teeth samples, finding traces of lead, titanium, and toxic metals never before found as cancer and birth defects became twice the rate to 2003's U.S. intervention. Birth defects 13 times higher than Europe. Even as paramedics, the Occupational and Environmental Health Site Assessment and U.S. Army Center for Health Protection and Preventive Medicine declared the burn pits environmental hazards, Infecting hundreds of thousands of soldiers, the burn pits raged. Why? Because Dick Cheney and his friends wanted money. Cheney's Halliburton subsidiary, KBR, gained the exclusive contract to create and maintain every burn pit at every base in Iraq starting in 2003, earning $7 billion for KBR. If the threat to the soldiers' health was made public during 2003 to 2008, KBR would have lost its $40 billion in war profiteering. Today, hundreds of thousands of soldiers have disease because of Dick Cheney and KBR, while cancer rates have climbed in Iraq like never before. This is the story of 